Hi, Trinity Room. Amber Freeland here and Cody Cohort. Excited to see you guys tonight. Yes, dear? Uh, regular giveaway. Thank you. Talk about the Let's see who jumps on, Cody. Hey there, Laura, you're always first. Matthew's here, Charmin's here. Ah, oh, looking for some insight tonight. Orpha's here, Amanda, hello, hello. Michelle, so wonderful convening with all of you last night. Zenny, awesome. We had a really special moon ceremony last night. Still feeling the vibes from that. It's snowing there, Laura, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All right, Nadine, hello. Ah, yes. Amanda says you're beautiful, Cody. Aw, it's beautiful Cody. Alethia, Katie. Awesome. Cody's going to be reading the cards tonight. Tabitha, welcome. Ah, uh, sometimes you just need a big old universal hug, right? Ah. Uh, Rowena, Mary, welcome. All right, exciting updates, obviously, always, right? Tons of exciting updates. Rosie, welcome. All right. Craziness, is everyone feeling the craziness? Let me know. Is everyone feeling the universal weirdness? Shandon, hello and welcome. Cody is even sweeter than he is pretty, Charmin says, and that is so true. Do you want to stay here or are you going to cruise? Let me know. All right. I think he wants to cruise. Amanda's feeling better. That's good news. I like hearing feeling better. Good. We've got all of our cards out. I've got a few decks to choose from here tonight. Ah. All right. So we will do our usual three card spread for the collective and then three more cards for for you you guys feel free to share this out if you'd like to take part in that magic of course tabitha says totally feeling the weirdness yeah me too i think there's a lot of old things coming up to be worked out Brittany's here i really truly feel that we are at the final stages of releasing some really old weird weird stuff uh, yes, Matthew, I see that. I agree with that. Strange energy. Hello, Thomas. Michelle says strange energy. Yeah, it's weird, right? It's weird. We are so resilient, though, you guys. We are so resilient. When the pendulum swings one way, it's swinging back the other way. That's the good news. Hello, Janet. Hello, Tamika. All right, if you guys catch this on a replay, Please let me know. My name's Amber Freeland. I am a quantum healer and life coach coming to you right out of the Trinity Room where we discuss the trifecta of mind, body, and spirit. Hello, Mama Sherry. Happy to see you here. All right. So what else? What other updates? Let's see. We go live Mondays for three card spread for the week and pull single cards for some of you. Alethea, thank you for sharing. Tamika, thank you for sharing. We go live uh, also Thursdays for a bonus healing for the week tomorrow. So you guys, we're working on a huge, exciting project called Quantum Entrepreneur. And we did a webinar last week. I know some of you were there. We had tons and tons of fun. We are actually announcing tonight that we are going live again for webinar number two tomorrow evening at five o'clock Pacific. So that would be an hour sooner than now, tomorrow, five o'clock Pacific. Join us to find out what we've done as entrepreneurs to hack through all the things that most people don't like to do, how average people can create financial freedom for themselves the easy way. Um, find out what the big guys won't tell you. Find out how you can actually create life-changing abundance financial freedom and time freedom for yourself and your family in a way that is incredibly fulfilling at the same time. Hello, Lisa. Welcome. Just type me so, so type me in these comments if you'd like more information or you know you want to join us for that. 
Check your email as well because I sent something very special this morning. Keep an eye on your email, you guys. We've been sending out pretty exciting stuff. Let me know if you are receiving those and enjoying those. Tabitha says, me. Hello, Lisa. Shared. Charmin, thank you so much. Amanda says she loved the first webinar. Get rid of that job. That's right. We have all had to figure out the kinks. You know, I won't, I won't spoil the surprise, but we are going to share with you the mistakes that most entrepreneurs make, why people are stuck in the rat race, and then we're, we're really gonna dive deep and share from the heart some of the things that we experienced and just be real and raw with you guys because we've been through that and we saw a need to really hone in on what's tough about it and how we can fix it so that all of us who are here with such a huge purpose, here to live an abundant life being you, as I always say, can actually do that now. <laughs> awesome. All right, all right, all right. I see your comments. Everyone's excited, beautiful. Christian will be sending messages to you guys. Awesome. Hope you make it on time. I hope you do too, Janet. Pretty exciting stuff. We all deserve that freedom, you know? And once you combine that kind of, those kind of really powerful tools with the, the energy work that we do, especially with the subconscious reprogramming and stuff like that, that happens to be one of the biggest keys, right? All right. Awesome. Thank you so much, Matthew. Matthew says, feel free to share this on your page or to, to a like kind of like like-minded community and then comment, share it in the comments. Exactly. Because when you comment, share it and let me know, that's how I will be divinely guided to pull for you towards the end. And if you're new here, I'll show you how that goes. All right. Yeah. Thomas says, some of us have been scammed too much. That is so very true. I agree with that. Yep. It's a bummer and it's sad. And we're huge advocates for helping people to heal from that and actually go out and do the right things in the world, right? <laughs> Trinity's here, Jody's here. Beautiful, I'm so excited, I feel your vibes. I was really, really excited to connect tonight. So excited. So let's pull our three card spread for the week. If anyone missed it, I will, I will, uh, answer any questions you've got at the end, but let's, let's pull some energy here and let's really sit for a second. Um, all right. So let's feel into the heart space here. I'll feel into the heart space. Everyone think of honestly, like usually I say a question on the top of your mind. Trinity. Hello, gorgeous. I see your sweet comment. So usually I say a question on the top of your mind. Here's what I'm going to call you to do tonight because I know people have been going through some funky stuff. I'm gonna call upon you to please bring to mind your greatest concern at the moment. I find myself, I'll be real and raw, you know, sometimes when multiple things are going on, I find myself like wondering which thing to worry about first. And you guys know me, I don't, I'm not a negative person, I'm a super positive person, but I definitely have had to unprogram myself from the worry mindset, you know what I mean? Does anybody feel that way too? I'm just curious. Because I find that when I'm hit by multiple things at one time, the way my brain works, uh, kind of like I'm able to think and plan and, and create a lot of things at one time. You guys know I have my hands in a lot of things and I'm working on a lot of big things usually all at one time. I see all your hearts. Thank you for feeling into that with me. Amanda, Brittany, Tabitha, I see it, Laura, yeah. So with that brain that can run so smoothly and, and multitask so well, every once in a while, it slips back in and it's like, it's kind of like, which thing do I want to worry about right now? That's crazy, right? That's, that really can affect your life. This is really a sad thing to witness my own mind doing. So I would really love, yeah. Yeah, you guys all agree. I'm so glad I asked because I'm definitely a positive person and advocate for others to be positive because we're creating what we think about truly. Um, but I'm glad I asked because almost everyone agrees. So yeah, thank you for your transparency there. 
<laughs> Charmin with the hand raised a bunch of times. Yes, for sure. Yes, yes, yes. Right. I see it. All right. So let's heal that tonight. What do you guys say? Let's soothe those vibes. Are you guys with me? Let's see what tonight and Tuesday, Wednesday has to offer for us. This card won't let me pass it by. All right. <laughs> Thank you for all the sweethearts. I love you guys. So that card is tonight and Tuesday, Wednesday. And we have a crystal card screaming our name. Incoming. What, honey? Incoming. New people. Oh, beautiful. I see we have a lot of new people joining. <laughs> Thank you, sweetheart. <laughs> Awesome. So welcome, you guys. My name is Amber Freeland. I'm a quantum healer and life coach, co-founder of the Trinity Room and quantum entrepreneur, which I'll tell you guys more about towards the end. Again, I'm pulling our three card spread for the week. If you would like to take part in your own private reading, go ahead and share this out. Come back and type shared. Towards the end, I'll let you guys know when because I let spirit guide me to three people to pull a card for personally. So Matthew, tonight I've got the Saints and Angels, the all-time fave of mine, right? Hello, Cindy. <laughs> That's funny, Mama Sherry. Okay, awesome. New friends joining. You guys have friends here. That's so exciting. The Saints and Angel, Angels, all-time favorite deck. And also, I just pulled one from the Crystal Angels deck and for for the weekend. Oh, here, it's already jumping out. Okay, so now we have our three, and then we have a couple more decks handy in case we need them. I follow spirit to lead me to which we need, so. Card number one, wow. Already feeling this healing. So once again, if you just joined us, we were just taking a, a moment to reflect upon our highest concern at the moment. And you guys, when we're talking about juggling the worries, let's just pull them all to the forefront here. Put them in a little basket in front of us in our mind's eye. And let's see how we solve these issues. Tonight and the next two days. Forgiveness. Yeah. I'm being called to share that this is self-forgiveness as well as the forgiveness of others. Self-forgiveness, forgiveness of your past self. And I'm hearing now forgiveness of your past self, even your immediate past self. So like a couple minutes ago, yesterday, the version of you, any, any mistakes that come up, any concerns, any regrets, anything, right? Any pain especially also with, with other people, forgiving other people. Maybe, uh, Lethia has been getting this card a lot. Maybe even calling to the fact that, uh, the, calling us to the point of gratitude for the things that we would like to forgive others for. Can we bring any need for forgiveness all the way to the point of actual gratitude for mistakes, for ways of being that have hurt us in the past, theirs and ours? So I'm being told here that this step cannot be skipped, that the, um, the next cards here are going to give us more insight, but that this needs to take place first. I know it's hard, Thomas. Psst, I know, really hard. And if anything's been coming up to trigger you from the past with this moon cycle and Mercury going retrograde soon, if old things are coming up and you're like, why is this happening? I've been being told all day that it's to finally bring things to a closure that have needed to be brought to a closure, right? 
Ho'opono Ono. Yes, that's right, Orpha. That's amazing. If anybody doesn't know what that is, I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. You can sing it in a tune. I shall find one after and post it. Ho'opono Ono is an incredibly healing tool. Thank you for that. So yes, this message along with this moon phase that we went over last night in premium group, old things coming up, old karmic patterns coming to the surface to be resolved once and for all. It's actually a really good thing. It's painful, I know, but it's a good thing. And the rest of the steps are coming here momentarily, but I'm being told over and over, we cannot skip this step. You can't skip to the next part. You can't skip this step. Very clear. Huge need for a personal ceremony, if, it, if you're called, around forgiveness and letting go of the past completely, as well as attachment to the future. Releasing perfectionism and control and replacing it with faith and belief. Really strong energy here. I'm being told that if you do not skip this step, you are in for a massive breakthrough and energetic release in the coming week. Lisa says, I'm working on self-healing and forgiveness. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Thomas said, I just move on from that. What did you say here? I just move on from that. I hate being hated for being a good person. I know. <laughs> I know. No skipping forgiveness, forgiveness, personal ceremony, release perfectionism and control, replace with faith and belief. Yeah, it sounds so simple, right? We know this stuff, but this is coming in clear like tonight. If you could do this tonight. I don't care if it's an hour worth of tears or whatever it needs to be. Matthew, thank you. I'm assuming that's Ho'opono Ono. Matthew just posted a link. You're the best ever. So grateful for you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Anything that's coming up that's bothering you? Forgiveness, forgiveness, forgiveness. What does that do? Who does forgiveness help the most? You guys, let me know, please. Who benefits from forgiveness? Laura did it last night and cried for three straight hours. Who benefits? You, and you deserve it. Self-sabotage could come from the inability to forgive, right? Because you're the one that sits in pain. You guys know it. I see your comments now. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. Free yourself. You deserve it. You deserve it. Okay. So what's the next step? You guys want to find out? It's the next step after the forgiveness. True, deep, serious forgiveness. All right, next, Thursday, Friday, or just right after, I'm telling you guys, this is more of a just do this kind of message, okay? Unforgiveness ties you to your past. If you wanna move forward, you need to release the past. Forgiveness is choosing to let love reign and repair. Yeah. Interesting, not forgiving is self-sabotage, right? Because it causes pain for your, to yourself. It causes you pain, Hi, chastity. Okay, card number two. <laughs> this is so good. I love this reading. Vision. Thank you, Tabitha and Mama Sherry, for typing I forgive myself in these comments. I welcome all of you to type that. 
I forgive myself. And in this moment, with all of you as my witness, I forgive myself. It's been a weird time. We all get to heal and rise together. Okay. Oh my gosh, so beautiful watching your comments run through. I forgive myself, I forgive myself, I forgive myself, I forgive myself. So beautiful, you guys. Hmm. These tears are hanging out right here. <laughs> Holding on. I forgive myself, I forgive myself, I forgive myself, I forgive myself. I forgive myself. You know another challenge is coming, right? <laughs> Here it is. Beautiful. You guys are doing amazing healing in this moment right now. I had no idea this reading would be so deep. Terry, Cindy, Lisa, Katie. Yeah. Great work, you guys. Now we're going to turn up the volume, right? Because we play all out. Love you too, Charmin. We play all out. So here we go. I forgive everyone else. forgive everyone else all encompassing everyone don't need to write it out don't need to look through the photo album don't need to bring it up and mull over it great job Tabitha Laura you guys are on it mama Sherry so beautiful thank you for taking part in this with me truly really good work you guys I forgive everyone else. Everyone else. I forgive everyone else. It's pretty cool because I just remembered that we already looked at card number two, but guess what we did? We did exactly what spirit called upon and we didn't skip that step. Really beautiful, you guys, to see this. We didn't skip that step. Thank you, Cindy. Forgive everyone else. And then take a breath. Ah. You feel led to breathe through this one. When people have hurt, you come to mind. Exhale and, wow, exhale and release them. Turn your attention to something you're grateful for. Take as much time as you need. Matthew, you're amazing. Thank you. I must have picked up on that because I felt the need to breathe right before I saw your comment. Just forgive everyone else. <laughs> All right. Don't need to say why or who or any of it. Because why? It's you setting yourself free. It really doesn't have anything to do with anyone else. So the details really don't matter. You're not making anything okay or right or saying that you, anything, nothing other than allowing yourself the peace in your heart of forgiveness, period. Okay. <sighs> yeah, Zenny, yep, 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 yep. All right, now, Spirit is telling me, yes, you have completed step number one, but allow yourself to recognize that this process is a recurrent process and give yourself the gift every single time forevermore in your future when the need comes up to forgive either you or someone else to do it in this same beautiful way. Don't skip it. 
I seriously honor you guys for this work tonight. Card number two. Now you get to step into your vision. Wow, I'm still in the chill zone of forgiveness. I'm just marinating in that right now. But here's the truth of the matter. This is about calling in what you're wanting. Hello, Jeff. It would be amazing to watch the replay. We just did some deep, unexpected healing. So we will continue on, but I truly welcome you. I'm happy to see you here. Excited to connect. Um, watch the replay, please. Please, please. So card number two is vision. This is showing me, let's see more about, oh yes, Archangel Ariel is here. And she's incredibly excited for what we have just done. Tell us more about vision. Oh, I see. The song comes to mind. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. So she's just saying you cleared it out. So now you can actually see what you really want. Remember what I was saying about choosing what to worry about next a minute ago? Guess what? Most of that is gone, right? Worrying about what? Mistakes, things to forgive yourself for, things to forgive others for, whatever. When you don't have those things, you can see clearly now, right? Now you can see the real vision of what you're wanting to create. Now you can see the power of your manifestation come to fruition when you're not programmed by all the guilt and shame that was hanging out there and resentment and anger. Now you can actually call in the bigger vision for your future, the bigger vision for this moment, right? So exciting. What do you really want? What do you really see happening this week and in the very near future? Because guess what? You're not carrying any of that old stuff because forgiveness just wiped it all out. The stuff about you and the stuff about everyone else. Now is when we envision what we want. Simple. Now tonight, when I recommended earlier, <laughs> roar, Katie. Now when I recommended have a ceremony around forgiveness, and you know what? We just did it. So now tonight, you get to manifest. You get to visualize your desired outcome in every area of your life. And you get to dream much larger than you have before because all that junk is gone. You guys can come back to this one anytime you need to. Ariel, thank you. Card number three. I pulled this card in a personal reading this week with a very new, special, new client of mine uh, during our first session. And it is very special because I don't know why it jumped out of the deck of all things, but let's see why. I don't know how to pronounce this. And I think it's Charoite. Charoite. Card number three, you guys. All of these are for all week. Charoite. <laughs> Thomas wants to be successful so that he can write a book. Awesome. Thomas, please type me in these comments because the answer on how to become successful is coming tomorrow night at 5 p.m. Write a book anyways. And write a book anyways. That's right. Some people will relate to it if you're not successful. Yeah. Write a book anyways. And your successful will add to the validity of your message. But join us tomorrow, seriously. We have a massive, massive gift on creating wealth tomorrow night. No joke. So just go ahead and type me if you want to learn more. And we'll see you there. It's go time. It's time to manifest what we're wanting in our lives, you guys. We're here to be abundant. All right. Char White. Let me get my focus back. So exciting. Thomas, I'm excited. We will read your book. We support you fully in that. Charwai. Spiritual protection. You are being watched over and protected. 
physically, emotionally, and energetically. Ah, and what is it that I say? We need to release physical, emotional, and energetic body pains and things like that. So spiritual protection. You are being watched over and protected physically, emotionally, and energetically. So in regards to forgiveness and vision, this is what this is about. You are being protected not only in that phase of forgiveness that can be oh so painful and all the weird things that are coming up, popping back up into our reality to be dealt with once and for all to clear out all that baggage. But we are also being spiritually protected in our big vision. If you feel stuck in the big vision or unable to manifest or lacking faith or belief in that big vision, I can tell you what, subconscious reprogramming is the fast track out of that, hands down. So let's see what Ariel and Gabriel is now here as well, has to say about this. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. This is really cool. Okay. <laughs> so you guys are gonna love this. Hey, Tasha. Good to see you. Okay, let's see. Tasha. <laughs> so here's the, the beautiful vision of this right now. Okay. We have Archangel Ariel and Archangel Gabriel serving us tiny morsels, golden nuggets to be exact, as we sit around a massive table having a very proper tea party together. All of us here. Okay. I see them walking around and literally giving us one little golden nugget at a time. They're our servers. It's very beautiful. I'm seeing both of them going around, making sure we have what we need, but it's kind of strange at first because we're literally receiving one bite at a time. So we're sitting there going, wow, I have this huge plate. And like, she just gave me like one little tiny piece. This is very interesting, right? And then Gabriel comes by. Oh, here's one more bite. One little bite at a time, okay? But here's what I see. As we turn our focus, I love you too, Katie Tucker. As we turn our focus to one another at this beautiful party, hi Amber, and we connect with one another, we are distracted momentarily from the watching the pot boil, so to speak, watching our plate be filled by these incredible angels that are here to serve us, <gasps> to serve us, right? Do you guys get it? Do you see that? As we turn our focus away and convene with one another in true connection, we turn back to find that that has amounted to a plate full of everything we could ever want. Because we took our focus away from watching it accumulate in our impatience to connect to look back, to draw our focus away, believing that this will fill up the belief and faith, connecting, convening, enjoying life, to look back and go, holy cow, a masterpiece. One of the most beautiful things I've seen. So beautiful. I am going to have to watch this. I'm going to have to see what came through. Often I am truly in a channel and slightly uh, just focused on another plane or something. So I've got to, I've got to watch this. I think tonight was really, really special. So now it's your turn, your personal turn. You guys, tons of love to you. Thank you for sharing this. Let me know if you've shared it. I can't wait for more people to see see this message. I think this will be a really special newbie video to really show people what all of us here in this community are about because the truth is this community is all of us. 
most heart-centered, beautiful family I could have ever asked for, truly. So thank you guys. Thank you guys so much. All right, so I'm gonna close my eyes. If you're new here, this is how it works. The angelic realm calls me to open them and at that time, the last person who commented is gonna get a special message and I always like to remind you that message is also meant for everyone here and who watches in the future, okay? All right, here we go. Let me know if it's you. Amber Rose. <laughs> Claire Cognizance. All right, Amber. Archangel Uriel joins us as well now for Amber's message. Claire Cognizance. Mountaintop, rainbow, clouds, sunshine. Can't tell there, but this is a very colorful rainbow. Archangel Uriel says, pay attention to your thoughts and ideas that come to you because they are answered prayers. <sighs> okay. Song lyrics, important right now. Hidden, finding hidden messages in music is very important right now. Oh, and, and um, also tapping in with the first thing that you think of when you wake up in the morning. The very first thing. Because um, that's either going to do one of two things, I'm told here. It's either going to show you where your thermostat is as far as what your subconscious is running, right? So that's always great insight that we can work on. But also, um, you may get divine new ideas at that time. So if you find yourself waking a little earlier than expected with some interesting thoughts or dreams or anything like that, you're being called to really take a really great look, a deeper look at those things. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. I honor you. Thomas, music is my passion. That's awesome. It does. Amber says, wow, that so resonates. Excellent. All right. Let me know if you're next. Let's see Amber again. Hmm. <laughs> I'm seeing that Amber's comments, a lot of Amber comments. Tabitha, awesome. So, outdoors. Tabitha, your card is outdoors. Archangel Jophiel, go outside, get some fresh air and connect with nature to relieve stress and gain new creative ideas. Let me see, Tabitha. Hmm, interesting. I'm seeing automatically that you need to bring more, um, more plants into your diet, frankly. Um, I'm seeing lots of greens, like grasses. I don't know if it's wheatgrass or if you'd like wheatgrass or maybe celery juicing. I'm seeing for some reason with this outdoors card, when I close my eyes to channel for you, Tabitha, I see just greens and consuming, consuming really potent, um, potent micronutrients from the earth. I know you guys have seen my black water, that chlorophyll, that may be an option. Let me know how that feels for you. Let me see if there's anything else. Um, yeah, I'm seeing the rapid absorption of nutrients here. And also the rapid absorption of all that you're consuming. So to be mindful, if it's not greens and things that are healthy for you to be mindful of that as well, because I see your body rapidly absorbing right now. Be mindful of that. Um, anything else directly with the outdoors?
I'm, I'm feeling, I'm seeing cool air on your face. So that may be something to tap into that may feel really good and help you right now. All right, awesome. That's how cool these cards are, kind of giving slightly, you know, messages that you wouldn't think from that kind of card. So Tabitha, I hope that helps. I hope that gives you insight. Helps as far as gives you insight into maybe what you hadn't seen before. What? Had a large tree come down in our yard into our fence and gazebo. Wow. Interesting. So you had outdoors come up. That is incredible. You're welcome. Let me know if the green drink, the green like wheatgrass idea resonates at all or <laughs> anything that's coming up with food for you lately. Tabby cat hugs. <laughs> Jody, that's awesome. I'll hug Cody for you. All right. All right, who's next? Let me know if it's you. Erin Brown, hey, welcome. Good to see you here. Awesome. Okay, this is so beautiful. So, here it is, Erin. Brilliant idea. This is your card tonight. Brilliant idea. <laughs> it's you. That's fabulous. Brilliant idea. Archangel Uriel. Yes, your idea is divinely guided. Please take action to bring your idea to fruition. I'm partial because I'm excited to connect with you. I know that we will be meeting soon. So of course, the tangible ideas of what this bright idea may be are in the forefront of my mind as we plan to work together soon. So let me actually tap in with spirit and see what they're wanting you to know here. <sighs> yeah, I'm getting the coolest random insight tonight. I'm actually seeing you in a warm bath. I hope that you're feeling well and yeah, soothing of the soul, regrouping. I see spirits asking you to completely clear your mind, to erase the drawing board, to go back to the drawing board. That you need a clean slate to work from. You need to work on the foundation. Yeah, warm bath does sound perfect, Tabitha. I may be headed there myself. Yeah, so. Clearing the drawing board and looking at the foundation, removing pieces that don't fit, and making room for the pieces that do fit. And definitely look at that warm bath, Erin. Kind of simple, straight up, take care of yourself kind of stuff, right? And if you just jumped on, I'm not sure if you were here the whole time I didn't see you prior. Yes, salt bath, Trish, absolutely for sure, salt bath. But Erin, if you weren't here before and if anyone just joined us recently, please go back and watch the replay. Tonight ended up being a much more deep healing than I had personally expected, but the truth is I needed it. So I'm really grateful for those of you who took part in this with me. Very, very, very grateful and proud of you for your willingness to go deep and fast. All right. So once again, anyone new, welcome to the Trinity Room. If you just jumped on, you know, my name's Amber Freeland. I am a quantum healer and life coach. I convene inside of here Mondays and Thursdays at 6 p.m., we have a premium group where we do subconscious reprogramming that is on Wednesdays. If anyone's interested in learning more, let me know. Tonight, <laughs> thank you, Tabitha. Tonight, we're excited because we have found our next date for our Quantum Entrepreneur webinar, and it is tomorrow at 5 p.m. Pacific time. If you would like a private invite to that, be sure to type me in these comments. The truth is we struggled for a long time in business and with subconscious blocks. That's how it, we got led down the path of becoming healers in the area of subconscious reprogramming. But what we realized in the more recent past 
is why people fail, why people get stuck in the nine to five, why they keep doing what they're doing, all the fears that come up, all the problems that a new entrepreneur faces. And we set out to solve all of those problems. And we will be presenting tomorrow night how we did that and how you can do it too. So if you know you're meant for more, please join us. If you're ready to make shifts in your finances, in the time freedom that you have with yourself and with your family and looking to set your family up for a really positive future, please join us. Go ahead and type me. We'll send you a message. Check your email and look because I sent you something really special today already. Keep, keep on the lookout for that. Um, feel into your heart if that resonates with you. If you're just done with the rat race, I promise you, you can do it too. We're excited to walk hand in hand with all of you. So without further ado, you guys, congrats on doing the forgiveness work tonight so that tonight's personal ceremony can be focused on vision. What are you calling in? What are you able to even see that you wanted that you couldn't see before we jumped on live tonight and forgave ourselves as well as everyone else? What kind of things are you going to find when you take a moment to connect with the deeper version of you? What kind of things are you going to find that you didn't even know that you wanted in your life? I cannot wait to hear what comes through for you. All right. Love you guys so much. Keep in touch. Premium group, I'll see you Wednesday. Everyone else, I'll see you here Thursday. But most importantly, you guys, I'll see you tomorrow night. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.